Chris here. Hey, what we got going on today? We're working on one of our new projects. It's going to be a mud truck. Haven't figured out a name for it yet, but I wanted to do a quick video. I was sitting here cutting the tires, uh, you know, trimming the tread up, and we're going to be running the RC four wheel drive mud slingers. But I figured I had two tires left to do. I've already done two, and I figured why not go ahead and do a video on it. So we're going to do a quick vid. I'll show you what you need, and I'll show you the way I do it. I'm sure there's other ways to do it, but this is what works best for me. So give me a second, we'll get to it. Okay, so basically what you're gonna need, you're gonna have to take the tires off, so you're gonna need your wheel nut wrench, and the only other tool you're gonna need, at least the way I do it, is just a pair of body scissors. And we'll go ahead and get to it, and I'll show you how I do it. So basically, what I do when I cut these is all I'm doing is I'm cutting out the, the small lug in between uh, all, every one of the big ones. And I'm going to try to show you, if you can see it, there's a little nick, a little recess right in, there we go. I hope that shows up. There's a little recess right at the bottom of that small lug. Basically, what I'm going to do, I'll just put the tire down on the table, I'll squeeze it like that, I'll take my scissors, put them right in that recess, and take off that bottom lug, or the small lug, rather. Pretty simple. Uh, I will tell you, you know, the sharper your scissors are, the better it will be, and I'll also tell you to be careful. Uh, I've done it myself. But if you cut too low on that lug, you'll cut a hole right in your tire. And I mean, once you once you put the hole in it, they're pretty much done, uh, at least for wet weather. So we'll go ahead and do this tire, and I'll speed it up and get it done and show you what it looks like. Okay, so there you go, taking out the smaller one uh, in between all the big ones. And if you get it pretty low, I mean, it turns out pretty good. And you know, I mean, it don't have to be exact, at, at least for me, um, just to widen up that gap between, between the big lugs. It helps with cleaning and whatnot on the tires. So anyway, hope this helps somebody out. Uh, it's pretty easy to do. Once you, you get a little practice at it, it goes pretty quick. Just be careful the first time you're doing it so you don't cut a hole in your tire. Um, anyway, like, share, subscribe. We'll keep putting them out. I hope it helps somebody. See you next time.